I go by Naraya, bro. Hey, good to meet you, bro. So what we out here doing, we showing our people the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, their history, their heritage according to the Bible, right? So if you step over here and look at this sign, right? We got our God-given name listed on the sign. Do you see yourself anywhere on the sign? Yeah, what would you go by? Simeon? Oh, praise the Lord, the King and Brother, right? So, Simeon, if you come back over this way, bro, or you can stay right there. But so what we're going into, we're going into the history of the people. What happened to the people? Because do you hear much about Israel today? No, right? It's like they drop off the face of the map. Something happened to them. But we're about to find out what, right? So you're familiar with Moses leading the children of Israel out of Egypt through the wilderness, right? You're familiar with it, right? So what we're going through is the blessings and the curses that fell upon Israel. And the reason why we're showing our people this stuff is because, one, we got to identify our people. Show them who they are. Then we got to show them where they error, why they lost their way. And then we got to show them how to get back, how to be that special people. Because if you look at our, our, our demographic of people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, where we at in society? And we at the bottom, right? right, right. That's we right. We at the bottom, right? So you, you're already witnesses to what the Bible has already said, right? So a blessing or a curse, which one do you consider the worst? Is a blessing a good thing? A blessing is a good thing, right? What about a curse? Is that a good thing? Ah, it's, it's not a good thing. And, and that's some of the things that we're going through through the Bible because if you look at our demographic people, you would agree that we're cursed, right? We're a cursed people. Right. Because hey, you don't you don't agree? Why you don't agree? Uh, I'm uh, close, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Hey, that's a good point you make because go to Isaiah 1 and 3. Go to Isaiah 1 and 3. That's a good point you make, right? So you have that knowledge from your, your broad studies, right? A lot of our people here in America, we don't have that knowledge, right? right? And the Bible speaks upon that, right? And, and that's what we're trying to get. We're not trying to get like one individual person, but we're trying to collect Israel as a whole. Like those people might know or have knowledge of who we are as a people, but it's more important that we have knowledge of who we are as people. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because what good is it going to do us if they know that we don't? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So watch what the scriptures say. This is what the Lord say about our people, right? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out! The ox know his owner. Is the ox a small animal? You think he's a small animal? Yeah, to a certain extent. Watch this. And the ass, his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. You see what the Lord said about Israel? He compared us to two dumb animals. Well, we consider dumb animals, right? Right? Because they don't have the intellectual knowledge to be able to reason and think like we do, right? right. But he said Israel, the one he compared us to, the ox and the ass, he said Israel don't know. We don't know we Israel. Right. Right? We don't even consider the fact. Right. Like, we can sit here and talk to our people until we blew in the faith. But they still would not consider the fact that, hey, I'm Israel. I'm God's chosen. Yeah, right. I'm special people on this planet. Right. right. They don't know that. They wouldn't even consider it. Why? Because of the atrocity, the curses. If you look at this sign right here, the curses that happen to our people. Right? God said he's going to send us through this, right? Did you know that was in the Bible during your broad studies? You didn't know that was in the Bible? Well, we're going to show you. We're going to show you the curses that fell upon the so-called blacks. And that's why we call them so-called. Because, go to Isaiah 65, 15 real quick. Yes, sir. We're going to show you because they, we call them so-called because that's not their God-given name. God told them we're going to lose that as a curse upon us. Right. Because why? We fail to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. 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 Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 15. Bring it out! And ye shall leave your name for a curse. He said, you shall leave your name for a curse. What's your last name, my right? Hines. Where did you get that from? Your slave owner. Your slave master. Right. Right? Your slave master assigned your, your ancestor that name. Bring it on! For our captivity, bro. That's not your God-given name. Your God-given name is Simeon. That's right. right. You're from the tribe of Simeon, bro. And that's something that's important and special about that. 
Because knowing who you are according to the Bible, right? That means there's something that you gotta do. Right. But we're gonna walk a couple of these curses for you before we get to that, right? Let's go through these curses. So you'll know, because you say you never heard us being in these curses before, right? I mean, uh, I'm trying to figure that out, but I think it's different. I believe mean, it's the curses, but you know, we and that's a part of the curse that's a proverb a byword that fell upon our people they call it stupid they call it evil and what they say if you want to hide anything from a black man you do what Put right. it in the book. Right. Right? right. That's the curse reading the Bible. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, 37. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. Bring it out. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Astonishment. A proverb. proverb. A, a byword. Byword. Among all nations. Whither the Lord shall lead thee. Wherever God scattered upon the face of the earth, we will become them stupid, ignorant ass people, bro. We was going to lose our name in these captivities. Right. Right. right? So, so these are some of the things that we're bringing out to our people to show you, hey, these are some of the things that you, you say you was in church before, Christianity, right? You studied abroad, but you never got the answer, right? Because the so-called priests, preachers, and, and, and teachers of the so-called gospel was not bringing out the knowledge appropriately, right? That's right. Right? They was deep down people keeping them in the ignorance. Right. Why? For they selfish gain. Now you got the brothers out here who are truly are repenting, and now we showing our people the right way. Right, the right, right, way. right. First, right. we identify you as a brother from Simeon, right? Uh, what are some of the uh, atrocities that face your people through history? Same as us, right? Same as the so-called blacks, right? Right. We all suffer the same atrocity. Right. right? right. Only right. Israel was going to suffer that atrocity. That's right. Not no other nation. Did the white man go through that? You never heard of it. What about the Japanese? Chinese? Nah. Only a certain demographic of people went through that. Right. And that was us. That's but right. we won't know that. You as a so-called Dominican, me as a so-called Afro-American, you got a Haitian brother down the road, Jamaican brother down the road, we look at each other differently. Why is that? Because society has told us, taught us we are a different set of people. They have lied to us. Lied to us. You know, that's why the Christian church or any of the churches that you've been out, been around, they don't bring out these curses to our people. They are in fear that we are going to wake up. And that's what we out here doing. Let's uh, get some more curses and see what else is going on. Do, uh, go to verse 16. Deuteronomy. Actually, go to verse 15. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Moses said, it's going to come to pass if we do not listen. That's what it means to hearken. If we do not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, what is the voice of the Lord your God? His word, right? Watch this. To observe, to do all his commandments. He didn't say so. He said what? All his commandments. All his commandments. So it's not like Christianity or the Roman Catholic Church that we get to nitpick, cherry pick, or uh, choose which one we want to pick. Right. That fits our lifestyle, right? He said all his commandments. Everything that's written in this Bible, all his commandments. That's now, right. Let me check you before we go any further. How many commandments are written in the Bible? Ten. See, that's what a lot of our people think. It it's more than taking back. That's right. It's more than taking back. Let's get the part about the beer. Yes, Watch sir. this. It's more than taking back. Right? Because we tracking the take commandments of Exodus 20, right? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit uh, adultery, so on and so forth, right? But watch this. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out! They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Did you know that was a commandment? You didn't know. A lot of our people don't know. Why? Because what America has taught us, especially uh, coming to get a job, what they tell them when we want to get a, a nice little job? You got to clean up. You got to shave your face. You got to meet America quo, right? So right here, that's another commandment outside of the tier that said, hey, you're not supposed to shave your beard. Now, it's okay to groom and make it look neat. 
You're not supposed to shave your head, mar your beard, none of that. Right. Now we're gonna get another commandment that you might not have known of, right? Right? So when it comes to you studying abroad, when did they tell you the Lord's Sabbath day was? Saturday and Sunday, but which one do you believe is the correct one? For me, it's Saturday, but I still love Sunday. Because that's traditionally what you grew up doing, right? So watch this. Watch this. We're going to show you through the scripture that Saturday indeed is the day that you're supposed to observe the Sabbath day. Yeah, right. right? Because what day is Saturday? What number day is Saturday? It's supposed to be the seven, right? Because right. if you pull out your calendar, just like similar as your cell phone, Sunday started on what day? The first day of the week. That's right. And then all the way to that last S, which is Saturday, it's the seventh day of the week, right? right. So now we're going to match that up with the Bible. We're going to let the Bible show you which day we're supposed to do this, right? It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. So, Sunday all the way to Friday, sundown, these are the six days you'll accomplish your work. Everything that is lawful for you, that is within the law of the scripture. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Don't you speak cry aloud. Right. Everything that is lawful for you, within the scripture, you can do within them six days, right? But watch this, read. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. That's right. The Sabbath day. Right. The Sabbath day, which we established what? It's the seventh day of the week, which is what? Saturday, right? Read right. on. In it, thou shalt do no work. No work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant. Hold on, hold on right there. He said, Yo, nor, nor your son your daughter, your man servant, your maid servant. He said none of these people are supposed to be doing any work within, within under your authority, right? right? Read on. Thy maid servant, uh -huh. nor thy cattle, thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. Or the stranger within thy gate. The Lord said your animals are not supposed to even work. That's right. So how important is it to us that we supposed to uphold the Sabbath day? Right. The Lord gave us a laundry list of not only people, but animals and the strangers that are within our gates. That's not supposed to be doing any work. Right. right. But you see our people today, what are they doing? All your Israelites are in Sunday worship, Catholic worship. Right. They right. doing all this BS. Why? That's right. Why? Because this captivity that the white man brought us to, that Asian man brought us to, or who else? That uh, what Arab man brought us to. Mm -hmm. Why? They polluted our mind, bro. They took us away from what it is that we supposed to know. Right. Right. That's right. Let me ask you this. What is your heritage? While we talking about all this, what is your heritage? Because that's one of the most important questions about knowing who you are as a people. Jeremiah 17, 4. Yes, sir. What is your heritage? You don't know, right? And that's all right, man. And we're we not capping on you. But we enlightening our brother to let you know, hey, this is your heritage. This is who you are. That's right. Because right. to, to know where you're being, you got to know where you're going, right? That's right. right. So watch this. Read this. Jeremiah 17, 4. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. God said you are going to discontinue from your heritage. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we were going to discontinue from our heritage. Right. But what is our heritage? Sirach 1711. What is our heritage? What is that heritage? That, that's the main question. What is this heritage that we discontinue from? Now, we done read you a couple of them already, but we're going to let the Bible really truly define what it is, what your heritage is, right? Read. The book of Ecclesiasticus, uh -huh. chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. Besides this, uh -huh. he gave them knowledge. Knowledge. And the law of life uh -huh. for inheritance. The knowledge and law of life for inheritance. That's right. Are we right. Get that knowledge and law of life. Right. Where are we gonna get it from? This Bible. That's right. 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 This Bible. The, the cutting off of the beard. The, like the beard command we just showed you. That's your knowledge. That's your law of life. Bring right? it up. And then talk, going into the Sabbath day. Let's go back to the Sabbath day. That's your heritage. But we don't know that that's our heritage. Why? Because we've been polluted. We've been polluted. Right. Watch this. Uh, hold that. Go to uh, 2 Corinthians 10. We're going to show you. We've been polluted, bro. And this is our job, what we out here doing now. This is what we're doing for you. 
Right. Because now when we touch you and wake you up, guess what? You need to go spread the knowledge and wake the rest of our people. Yes. Yes. Right. 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 Watch this, read. Uh, yeah, start at verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Right. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not carnal. It's, in our, it's our mentality, bro. It's our spirit, right? Read. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. What are these strongholds? Read. Casting down imagination. These false imaginations, read. And every high thing uh -huh. that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. The so-called white man that teach you something to worship is right. It's wrong. It's right. right. That ain't religion, bro. The out. fact that he tells you you got to clean up and do all this other stuff. Lord said, don't shave your beard. Hey, right. 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 He telling you, hey, let's go to church on Sunday. What? No. My church is on Saturday. It's right. the Sabbath day, the correct day according to the Bible. Right. Right. So who are you going to listen to? You going to listen to what the man tells you or you going to listen to what the Bible tells you? Bring it out. He is not our word. Right. We right. Read the Bible. That's this right. Bible, this, these scripture preaches, this way before us. That's right. right. Way before any of us. So who is it that you're gonna listen to, right? So these are some of the things that you gotta put in your mind. These are the false things that we are tearing down, right? All right, so let's go back to that one I had you holding, right? Yes, Watch this. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, read from verse 11. We're going back into the Sabbath day. Watch this. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 11. Bring it out. For in six days, uh -huh. the Lord made heaven and earth. Six days, read. The sea and all that in them is, uh -huh. and rested the seventh day. The Lord did what? Rested the seventh day. That's another question you gotta ask yourself. If the Lord rested on the Sabbath day, then what more for us? Right. Right. What? Right. what are we supposed to do? That's right. We too good to rest on the Sabbath day, the day that he made for us? Right. Right. Bring it That's out. It. Bring it out. Go to Leviticus uh, 23 and 3. Because it's more than just resting on the Sabbath day. Teach. It's more than just resting, sitting up in your house and chilling on the Sabbath day. That's right. right. A lot of our people are misled and think that they just going to sit still and sit up at home on Saturday. Right. No, we got stuff to do. Read. That's right. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and verse 3. Bring it out. Out. Six days shall work be done. There it goes. Six days shall work be done. Read. But the Sabbath is the Sabbath of rest. The Sabbath is the Sabbath of rest. Let's see what else we're supposed to do. And holy convocation. And holy convocation. What does it mean to convocate? What does it mean to convocate? It said a holy convocation. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? What do it mean to convocate? Huh? To worship, to assemble yourself, right? So watch this. What do it mean to be holy? Yeah. So we're going to show you, we're going to let the Bible speak and show you what it means to be holy, right? Watch this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, and verse 26. Bring it out. And ye shall be holy. God said, you shall be holy, Rick. Unto me, uh -huh. for I am the Lord am holy. For well, God said, he's holy. He said, his people gonna be holy because he's holy, Rick. And has severed you from other people. That's the key word, severed you, severed you, severed you. He severed you from other people. He separated you from the other nations. There right. are 18 other nations on this planet. Right. right. And he separated us. Right. Yes, right. 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 That's it on that. That ye shall be mine. That we should be here. Possess. Can uh, any other nation claim that on the earth? Can anybody else claim that on the earth? That we belong to the Lord. They belong to the Lord God. Can they? You think so? You don't believe so? I, and I'm gonna start. I believe everybody could, but. You believe everybody could? I'm glad you said that. Because God ain't for everybody. That's right. Why, why, why you think the sister tried to shut us down? Why you think the police are here? They don't want to this thing to move, bro. Watch this. Bring it out. First Chronicles 17 and 21. Bring it out. Start at verse 20. We're going to show you. God ain't for everybody, bro. That's right. Everybody. He got one particular set of people Bring that he out. came here for. Like, just like the scripture said, he said, they are mine. That's possessive. They are mine. They, them, Israel. They are mine. Right. You, man. So-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. 
we belong to the Lord God. Right? Hey, right. Right. The book of First Chronicles, 17 verse 20. Uh -huh. Bring it out! Oh Lord! Watch hey. Listen, listen, watch this. Oh Lord, there is none like thee. There's none like our God. Read. Neither is there any God besides thee. There's no other God beside the Most High God of Israel. Read. According to all that we have heard with uh -huh. our ears. Read. And we, excuse me, and what, what nation? Is it in the earth? It's like thy people, O oh, Israel. O oh, who? O oh, Israel. O oh, who? O oh, Israel. Oh, Israel. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. God say we are His chosen people. Right. Somebody else. He didn't give this to so-called white man. He didn't give this to no damn Asian man. Right. He didn't give this to no Arab man. Right. He gave this to us. Yeah, who right. are them people, bro? Read. Whom God went to redeem uh -huh. to be His. Oh, people! God went to redeem us to be his own people. His own people. You understand that? You feel that? So how do you get all other people out of that, bro? How you get other people out of that? Watch this. We're going to go to the New Testament. Matthew 15, 24. We're going to take to the New Testament. Yes, sir. We're going to take to the New Testament and show you. How, how do you get all people out of that? Because uh, the scripture right here in Chronicles said, and he came to redeem Israel. That's right. He ain't missing the Hittites. Right. He ain't missing the Egyptians. Right. He ain't missing the Jebusites. Right. He ain't missing none of them. Right. He ain't missing the Israelites. All Israelites, right? Read. This is the book of Matthew, uh -huh. chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. What he answered and said. Hold on, is that written in red? That's written in red. Hey, that's Christ talking. You familiar yeah. with the Bible? That's Christ speaking. Watch what Christ said. Read. I am not sick. He is not sent, but, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hey, hey. Of the house of who? Israel. You just walked up and you bear witness to that. And who are the Israelites the Bible said was? So-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.